Hello and welcome to Andrew's Gaming World where I'm going to be playing some more Assassin's Creed 4. This is part 3 of the walkthrough and I'd just like to take a quick moment to thank you for clicking on my video. I really do appreciate it. Now let's see if we can get into this mission. Start mission, yes. That's really good how they give you the option to start it now. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. See, in the other video I asked what your favorite assassin is. This time, I'd like you to let me know in the comments down below who your favorite Assassin's Creed character is. So it doesn't have to be a main protagonist, doesn't even have to be... It doesn't really have to be a relevant character, but... Uh, you know, just any characters that you feel weren't part of the assassins. It's a rough looking man, I assumed he might look respectable. Shit, they're onto me. They're onto us, Edward. They're on... <laughs> Quick. Let's pretend to... To do farmer shit. Yeah. Yeah, up down, sir. Up down. See, I am... I, I don't know what assassin guy you're talking about. Okay. Coast is clear. I can hide behind this wheelbarrow. Can they see me? There's, there's like what, two guys looking right at me. <laughs> oh, I'm so mature sometimes. <laughs> Zorro! Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry? My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julien Ducas, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. Ah, so... You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> can, I, can I do it I once fought standing. beside a man yeah. who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. Okay, now oh, L1. Now, does it auto aim? Yes, it does. I should kick, yes? I long for a day where one firearm carries four bullets and not the opposite. So press to shoot the highlighted target. Awesome. So these guys are Templars. Oh, wow. This reminds me of a uh, gun. What was that game? Uh, gun. Something. Gungrave. Enough amusements, Duncan. How about a true challenge? Oh shit. All right. Here's a simple challenge. Can I shoot in the face? Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. All right. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Hey, what? Are you kidding me? Oh god, I am terrible at this. Oh no. Rotten luck, eh? Ah, uh, fuck you and your, your rough luck. Continue. Screw this. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, uh, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh huh. Uh, 
I have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Man, this story is really interesting already. As is the custom, we eh? Custom, I. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Oh, shit. Well, I... Uh... You must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, Show you what I know. Here. Yeah. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go. A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Uh, okay, so where's a bale of hay? Where's a bale of hay? Okay, here we go. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. Uh, this is embarrassing. The surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. So where do I hide, though? Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty, despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Okay, so we, the assassin we killed before, I was a little bit uh, ashamed of Edward in doing so, but it turns out that uh, it doesn't matter because he was going to turn into a Templar anyways. Magnifique. Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Yes. So charge. You do this, you do this, you just go charge and then yeah. Such a powerful strike. I know what I'm doing. You see? Fascinating. I'm a fucking pro, mate. Continue. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana. I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. Si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss.
I want to know what that bloody thing was. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. <laughs> See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. Nothing sus. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that will grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. <laughs> and it was an objective. It to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. Oh crap, he was explaining this what it was. The observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. My bad. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will, but thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together, for with its power, kings will fall. Clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Oh yeah, oh, 80%. Uh, great this, I'm gonna say I really liked it only because I could steal stuff from those Templars without anyone noticing. I think that's fucking hilarious. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so do we have to wait till morning, or...? No, we don't. Now, apparently we can fast travel to certain locations, so if I... Viewpoint. How do I fast travel? <gasps> yes. Yes, I would like to confirm. See, I asked before who your favourite Assassin's Creed character is. Uh, and normally I do like to answer these questions because uh, I'm curious about what other people say, but I would have to say mine. Whoa, whoa. Uh, mine would have to be Achilles. I don't know if it, because I think it was pronounced a little bit differently in Assassin's Creed 3. But, uh, I, I don't know, it's just something he. He seemed like the most memorable character. I guess in Ezio's saga, uh, Mario was definitely a memorable one. Uh, but for me, I, I, I'd say Achilles, or Achilles, whatever. It's just that whole mentor thing about him. 
uh, was really cool. The way you'd teach Hello. Connor to do things, and the fact that he was sort of the last assassin in a way. It was really sad. So there was a lot of emotional value going on there as well. So let's do this mission, a man they call the sage. Are we we? Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say! He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, si, sin duda. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. Oh shit! One of your early letters mentioned a desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. Let, let's see if we can spot who the next guy is going to be to go. Let's use our assassin knowledge. That's the idea. Okay. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is on. Maybe not. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage at whatever cost. That guy, that guy looks dangerous. Assassins! Where? Holy shit! Ow! Oh crap. Oh crap. I'll get out of the way. How do I get to... Okay, here we go. Let's go up. How do I get my... Oh god. What? Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh shit. There's a ton of them. Now will they shoot me or are they just going for that guy? <laughs> I don't really have to do anything. You're down. Who else is there? Who else is there? Okay. Do I have to... Can you jump down, Edward? God damn! What the hell just happened? Holy... Whoa! What? The hell was the point of that, sir? What? Whoa! Stop him! You're a nimble one, I'll give you that! 
Oh, the sage must be an assassin or something, I don't know. Why did he kill one of the assassins if he's against the Templars? Oh crap, I jumped at the worst time. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate! Oh, that's just, this is awesome. So as I said before, guys, if you have any questions that you think would be cool to ask uh, in the next few episodes, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I'll see... I'm looking for more like what is your favorite sort of questions, but uh, any questions that I think are interesting, I'll, I'll pop them into the, uh, into the walkthrough. God damn, he's fast. Oh wow, I got him. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, we set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. Now, tackle the sage from... Ah! Oh, I didn't do any of that. What, should we, what do you reckon? I really liked it. I couldn't. I can't think of any flaws with that mission, apart from the fact the camera was going a bit nuts. Oh, one thousand, whatever those things are. Okay, guys, I'm going to end that one there. I hope you enjoyed watching. As usual, if you have any feedback, leave a comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe because I will be posting more Assassin's Creed Four videos. I will be playing all the way to the to the end of the main story basically and if you got this far again thank you for watching i really do appreciate it and i will catch you soon